As many as 6.8 million people in the U.S. are affected by alopecia. That's according to MedlinePlus.gov. Symptoms include small round patches of hair loss on the scalp, beard, or other areas of the body that grow hair. The only way to be sure you have alopecia is to be diagnosed by a doctor. Our Febin Casahoon has more on local organizations that are here to help those who suffer from the autoimmune disease. Everyone's different. Everyone's needs are different. According to the National Alopecia Areata Foundation, one in every 1,000 people in the United States are impacted by alopecia. It's also the second most common form of hair loss. It's not an illness that is going to hinder you. Anything, it should make you stronger because you're fighting it and you know, you're blossoming. Buffalo native Bianca Salah started her nonprofit organization, the Salah Hair Foundation, in 2017. This after learning a fellow client of hers had alopecia. Having had the disease herself since the age of 17, Salah realized there were others like her and decided to create a foundation to help serve disadvantaged women and children with cancer or alopecia. They fill out a form, they send it to us, we review it. Nearly 40 people have been helped, allowing her clients to save thousands of dollars on prosthesis hair. It gives them a place to go. Know that they're not alone. Jeff Wojtovich is the founder of Children's Alopecia Project, which is based in Reading, Pennsylvania. Created in 2004, the organization helps boost the confidence of children by organizing camps across the nation. People don't understand is how horrible it is when you're behind a closed door. Sure, it's not painful and you're not going to die from it, but it's how you feel about yourself, confidence, self-esteem. And that's what we want kids to, to realize that they are perfect exactly the way they are. His second oldest daughter was diagnosed with the condition when she was five. Since then, he has worked to ensure children with the disease aren't left feeling helpless. There is no cure for alopecia. However, when the disease is active in a person, the hair follicles remain alive, meaning the hair can grow back even after a long period of time. Fepin Casahoon, 7 News, Buffalo.